today's world of facility management, partnering sustainability along with commercial flooring renovation is critical. And to dig into this topic, I'm pleased to welcome Kirk Roberts. He's a senior vice president with Bona, which is a sustainably driven company that supplies premium flooring products and renovation solutions. Welcome, Kirk. I'm looking forward to getting into this with you today. Well, thanks, Jeff. It's uh, great to be part of this, and I, I enjoy conversations like this about our industry. It's going to be a good one. It's a, a very important topic. So let's start with flooring and sustainability. I have a few questions for you. My first one is this. Why should facility managers pay attention to sustainability as part of any kind of flooring renovation project? You know, Jeff, it's it's a good question. And sustainability, it's it's always been a focus for us. But I would argue that one thing we've noticed in recent years is that floor renovation as part of the whole sustainability thinking has become much more top of mind. And certainly while a lot of this has to do with the environmental impact, one of the things that we've seen is just from a sustainable business model, renovation really presents, I think, some interesting opportunities. Um, just a couple of research points that we've looked at. If you looked at more um, what I would call minor renovation projects or retrofits to older buildings, they can often produce um, as much as a 20% operations savings for the project. And if you look at the larger kind of major retrofits to older buildings, we've seen as much as 75% um, reduction in energy consumption and cost. And I think a couple of uh, just summary points to all of that research that we've read is one thing is the reduction in greenhouse gas emissions can be as much as 10% when renovating as opposed to new construction. But back to the sustainable business, I think another really cool thing is that we've seen over 3 million jobs created within the last five years based on, on renovation work. That's some impressive and important data. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, sure. Something we all need to know about when we make decisions about facilities and especially flooring. Uh, for more than 100 years, so Bona has developed systems and products for floors. Is this still your primary focus, your area of focus? Absolutely. Um, for Bona, I would say our core value proposition has always been developing not only products, but also systems, primarily for wood floors. But in more recent years, um, we've also developed a system for resilient floors as well. And with the floor, well, other than the walls, the floor being the largest surface of any commercial building, it can be some significant challenges and problems if not properly maintained. And because floors can present significant contamination and germ issues because of all the cracks and the, the seams in them. When a floor is damaged, it can present some significant um, walking and tripping hazards. And then really, I think from an overall aesthetic standpoint, when a floor looks good, it helps the overall building look good but when a floor looks run down it it makes the building look kind of older and gross even to a certain extent yes and that's something people notice they they quickly pick up on that when they walk into a building you know it, it seems like a simple thing to handle but it, it's often ignored but thank you for that information let's talk about floor replacement or maintenance we know that can be a big issue in facilities and there's a tremendous amount of downtime when people work on these, you know, the stripping, the polishing of floor, that downtime can be considerable. I hear that Bona has an alternative for facilities to consider. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. We, we developed, this was about five years ago, we developed a uh, complete system for renovating resilient floors. This is actually while I was still living in Europe and we launched it in Germany. Yeah, I think it was about five years ago. And then we launched it here in the States at the ISA show. I think that was uh, 2019. And it completely changes the way 
facility managers look to transform floors. Um, I think we, we developed kind of four main highlights or, or uh, value propositions with this argument. One is the cost savings. One is energy savings. Another is durability. But I also think a, a really cool one is design. Um, our solution, we can either get that floor looking like it was when it was new, or if interested, you completely transform um, the look of the floor. In fact, I'll, I'll share an interesting story. The, the first floors we ever did was in Eastern Germany, and I had the opportunity to uh, tour the floor with the contractor that we were working with. And he took this, it was a children's wing of a hospital, and he took the entire floor and painted an ocean scene, literally with fish jumping out of the water. It was it was cool. And while I was touring the facility after he had completed it, I not only saw how much um, both the patients, but also the doctors and nurses that were working there liked the floor. They were we could see them talking and pointing to different things on the floor that that they really liked. But also I was talking to the facility manager and the biggest impact for him was the significant labor savings that it provided them versus having to tear out and completely replace the whole floor. And then talking about the regular cleaning process that they had created with our cleaners and the microfiber mops, as opposed to the, the stripping and polishing process he really felt presented them with a, a new and long-term solution for that. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, but let's talk about what many consider most important. The Bona re Resilient System, can it save money and time? Absolutely. Um, one of the biggest cost savings is that there is now, at least normally, no need to replace the floor. By, by taking the existing floor and reviving it, the downtime is cut by way more than half. In fact, we've seen some jobs that normally would take maybe one to two weeks to completely tear out, re uh, prepare the substrate, and then replace it with the new floor um, often takes one to two days just with the renovation process. I think the other piece, like I was saying before with that hospital scene, is that the floor literally can be transformed to looking like a new floor with our kind of range of colors and chips. I've even seen um, existing resilient floors be made to look like a brand new terrazzo floor. And then I think beyond just the look and the feel and the cost savings, there's also tremendous health and environmental impacts. Um, like I said before, the, the bonus system creates a flat and um, seamless surface that you don't have the cracks and the grooves, which obviously hold germs and bacteria. And the environmental impact of not having to do that toxic stripping process anymore is one of the things that obviously is top of mind but I think something that we often forget is when you replace a floor, you have to throw all of this old flooring material into a landfill. So instead, we're able to just take the existing floor and revive it to make it look like new. So it's pretty cool. Yes, I spend a little bit of time working on floors myself, and I realize the, the work you're describing is so much better than the replacement, which that downtimes can be considerable. You talked about sustainability and the recycling and the disposal of materials. Didn't I see a study highlighting the sustainability benefits of the Bona Resilient System? Yeah, you know, that's a that's a really good point. We were approached, this was probably two or three years ago, by a, a Swedish environmental institute called IVL, um, asking if we would participate in a research project that evaluated the sustainability of renovating compared to replacing both wood and resilient floors. And we said yes, and we were pretty excited about it. But I have to be honest, we were also a, a little bit nervous because what IBL told us is that if we agreed to participate, 
we had to go along with whatever the findings were, even if they potentially disproved some of our assumptions going in. So, you know, 95% of me was confident, but there was a little bit of that nervousness going into that. And, and the bottom line is, yes, uh, the study found that there is a significant environmental impact from renovating compared to replacing. A couple of the, the data points that they shared with us is that they're refinishing a resilient floor creates a 92% CO2 uh, savings when compared to new floor installation. And the other piece that they shared with us is the study found a 90% um, energy savings with this system when compared to floor replacement. So it was, it was a pretty significant uh, study that the IBL did. Yes, with your fingers crossed the entire time. Waiting yeah. for those results. A little bit, little bit nervous, but we were we were pretty hopeful and, and confident that it was going to prove what we thought was was coming into the into the project. Yes, and congratulations. That's that's Thank good. You. Good information, and it worked out well. Okay, my final question, Kirk, is what's the key takeaway here for facilities? Because those watching this want to know what they get from this information. It's it's a great question, and and as we were thinking about that, I think the system that that we have developed really has created several key, what I would call game changing benefits for both facility managers and also building service contractors. I think one is that floors can truly be transformed both faster, but also cheaper then replacing the flooring surface and that gets the facility back up and running much quicker obviously saving time and money so that's one um, i think another game changer is that the surface will be healthier with fewer slip and fall risks and minimal germ and bacteria impacts with that, the benefit of that flat or monolithic surface that I described earlier. And I think the third one is the environmental impact, um, which may not always be top of mind, to be honest with you, it hasn't always been for me, but those impacts are significant and something that more and more building owners, but also tenants are recognizing and I think we'll continue to recognize as we look in the future. And I think, you know, the, probably my final thought to this whole thing is that improving the look and making the floors healthier, focused on saving the downtime and the money and reducing the environmental impact, I think it's a win-win for all of us in this industry. I think it's exciting.